Welcome back to the Junk Man's Adventures. I'm the Junk Man, and today we're going to build some replica packaging for a uh, vintage Tonka forklift that I recently restored. It's going to be a gift for somebody, and I kind of want to replicate the factory packaging, only it's going to have to be custom because I made some little itty bitty mini pallets that are going to go with it as kind of a little bonus. And anyway, uh, this video is going to show you how I did it. I'm going to kind of design it on the fly. So uh, there are probably going to be mis mistakes and maybe we'll start over with a few things. Anyhow, uh, let's get started and see how this takes shape. Okay, first off, a uh, little bit of background. I've made some replica boxes before. Um, here's one example that I have right here, kind of fits this tractor. This was more of an experiment for this, this tractor. I just kind of made some uh, indentations to put the tractor in and then kind of fold a tab and whatnot. And this is somewhat uh, like how the original factory package would have been. However, I've made some replica packages for some uh, for a Tonka dump truck, uh, which I didn't actually film, but I have a blog post with uh, pictures and a link down below, and here's a quick picture of uh, one right here. Um, and I made some other ones uh, more recently for a uh, International uh, 3088 tractor that I did for a, another um, person as a gift, and I replicated the boxes there, tried a little bit different technique. And that's the thing, in this uh, video here, we're going to uh, make some replica packaging for this here. Uh, this little Tonka forklift I recently restored. I did not put this on a video, but I have a video of uh, restoring this exact model. I did, uh, ooh, a couple years ago now. Um, this one I just didn't film because I just needed to get it done real quick because Christmas is a coming when I'm... Uh, when I was a fil filming this. Made some uh, little miniature pallets too. That's in the other video as well that kind of go along with this um, this toy to play with here. So anyhow, these are going to have to be incorporated into the box as well. So uh, anyway, let's get started and uh, you can follow along and watch me how I build this or how I fail. One of the two. Now I just have some cardboard here um, random scraps and everything. And in previous boxes uh, that I've built, I have tried to make it out of one large piece of cardboard and uh, do it all in one shot with the folds and everything in one piece. This one I think I'm going to try did something different is uh, uh, with my glue gun here and uh, you know glue some of the pieces together. Still make it more or less one piece and uh, see what I can do. So I have some you know, flaps from boxes and things of that nature, we'll see. And this is probably the biggest piece I have uh, to start with. And what I found out is, of course, uh, just like with the box back back here, we want to kind of make it a, a more display packaging kind of thing. And uh, let's see, we need to have the forks all the way down for this. Um, because I, I, I've been thinking about this for a little while here, but um, probably going to start with something like this. Probably have one of the pallets. We'll probably set right there, like that. Um, and then the other pallets, maybe we'll, we'll, we'll store sort of in a compartment in the back or right here or like this. I, I really haven't decided. Maybe they'll, maybe they'll stack something. Actually, that would make it e probably the easiest um, is something like that, and then we fold everything up around it. Now, if I had a large piece, I could make the flaps fold up here, but we're going to have to try. But the first thing I like making here, and I didn't do a very good job on this box, is making a, a flap, a little lip that comes up right about here, because factory packaging kind of has that sort of um, that sort of look to it. So. With a pencil, <clears throat> and uh, of course the erasers all um, dried out, and I need a, yeah, here you go, okay, we're just, need a, a yardstick here, I'm kind of, uh, just doing this off the fly, and let's see, I want, I think this is how, I don't know, these I might find a different way, but I do know I want one pallet here, and then there will be a flap and a little piece of cardboard that's going to hold it down, you know. But, something like this, you know, a yardstick is eh, a little bit larger than a one inch wide, so um, I 
think. So I want that fold. And I'm going to have it fold over and become sort of a triangle. So let's um, let's do something like. And I'm just marking maybe where my folds I think are going to be. So let's see, something like that. Let's see a fold up there. Let's see, and then I need to get my uh, razor knife and check that fold off. See, you're watching this kind of real time. My thought process. Um, yeah, that's uh, yeah, I kind of like that. Let's do that. A little bit of a razor knife. Okay, we're just gonna score the cardboard here. Okay, <clears throat> that's gonna be a, that's going to be a fold. fold there and then I'm going to want about this distance here to put some writing on. I'm going to give myself a little bit more room. Okay. Something like that. Just like that. Like this. Now, of course, some of you would say, well, why are you going against the corrugations? Um, well, I found that you do it this way, you get more strength out of it sometimes. And you know what? I might have to do it differently. Okay, you know what? While well, I was letting the glue gun heat up here, um, I decided I'm going to start over. I already don't like what I, just, what I just started. I decided I am going to use the corrugations here and use the wider piece. And then I can maybe flip the sides up a little. Or uh, uh, because this piece of cardboard I have... I got some um, not nice stuff on this side. I didn't realize that when I started here. So I think I'm actually I'm actually gonna start over, uh, kind of, a little bit here. Still same idea, but uh, I'm just gonna do it a little bit differently. Um, let's see. Let's get this. Let's get the forks situated where they need to be, and then put the pallet on it. And we're gonna still same idea. We're going to get started a little bit differently here. So, um, well, I guess I won't fill the sides up, but I'm going to uh, put it right here, and then I can have the back up, and at least this be an L shape, kind of an L shape. So, um, so I'm going to give myself a little bit extra, and we're going to, <coughs> I'm going to cut right on that corrugated line there. Let's see. Um, yeah. Okay. Like that. And I smell my glue's about ready here, so we'll be ready to do some glue in here. Okay. That better. And, yeah, that's, you know, that's more the way I should have done it. Okay. Yeah, and that's a nicer. Okay, good deal. All right, see, I'm leaving in all the all, all the bloopers and, and screw ups and stuff. Um, <clears throat> so there we go. Let's go up to. Actually, let's go up to. Let's do right in the middle of that line, right there. Or along there. Okay. All right, and there we go. That's going to be much better, much better. Okay, yeah, and then I glue that down. That will be nice. That'll be almost, almost a nice angle. Okay. Yeah, let's get that, let's get that going. Yeah, we got some glue going here. And you know what? I don't know how wide I'm going to make this, so we're going to just put some glue. Hold on here. You guys can't see what I'm doing, can you? There we go. Now, hopefully you can see what I'm doing. We're just gonna lay in a bed of hot glue right there. Whoops. Yeah, that's all right. <clears throat> all right. I'll just, just wanna hold 
that, hold that there, at roughly the angle. how that's going to be. Uh, so I'm going to put this down like this. Okay. As we got to cut it to length. And I think I think I like that. Let's see. I think I'm going to leave more front on the front end for those pallets, but the back end I can cut. Hmm. I think I'm going to cut right here. <clears throat> that guy cut down there. Okay, got it. Okay, let's get our yardstick. And, you know what? Let's just say it. Get as square as we can. And we'll, then we're going to cut. Our first big decision there, right there. Okay. So the back end of the forklift be there. Some kind of, you know, we'll do that. Something like that. Can rest there. Now, next thing we're gonna do is, uh, well, I need to cut this leg here. That's where I need to uh, decide how these pallets are gonna sit. I guess they could actually just sit in front and then they're on the side. Uh, maybe that's what it should do. Then, then it'll be, um, so it can't shift this way or that way. So maybe, maybe we do that, okay? So let's, and then I can put um, sort of a, a strap uh, of cardboard around there to hold them in with a little tab. Okay. See, I have in my head sort of how I want it to look, and I'm trying to figure out as I go what uh, what I really, uh, how I really want this to work. So let me just mark that there. Okay. But of course, I'm gonna always start over, and that makes this a long video. Um, if you've even made it this far. <laughs> here, give ourselves a little extra room to this. Let's get right there. Okay. Okay. There we go. Alright. At least for this particular design point of no return here. Let's see how that worked. Ah, pretty good. Just a little bit of slop on the end. That will take care of any extra things we need. Okay. That looks pretty good. How do you guys think? All right. Um, yeah, and then we'll put, you know, talk our forklift there somehow. Okay, now we can, at least with this piece, we can figure out now Shift this around for you guys so you can see. Now we gotta uh, figure out the back side of it, okay? Where easiest would be to put the, just fold the box up there, make it a short, narrow thing, um, which I think actually is okay. I wonder if I have enough room um, to actually come up and over. I might, I might actually. I don't really wanna have to glue the top up on here. Uh, looking at, I know you can't see it here, eight inches is maybe the max. max. So what, eh, got eight inches, <laughs> eight inches goes right to the top there. I'm going to have to glue a top, I'm going to have to glue, I'm going to have to glue a top on this, which not the worst thing in the world. I guess I kind of wanted to have this be one piece that came clear over to here, and then all I've had to do is, 
do the sides, and then I could glue, t which I should have thought of that and made tabs to then fit in there. Kind of like, let me show you what I'm, let me show you guys what I'm thinking, what I should have done, what I just realized I didn't do. Um, is, um, see these little wings, these little tabs here on this box? And of course I have, th this thing is all one piece. I did not, no gluing and doubled it over. Um, you guys are probably wondering why, why I didn't just replicate this. Well, I guess I wanted to just try doing it differently. Um, so anyhow, uh, that is, um, that's probably what I'm going to do. When I, I'm going to build this box and if I hate it, then we'll, re we'll rebuild it. And then, I don't know, either that's another video or, um, or just makes this one extra long. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. So, we'll, we'll stick with this design. I've committed to it, we'll stick with this design. Okay, so right there is where I want to score to make that go up. Box go up. This is just, I have a sharp blade in here, it's just resting on, on that there. So let's, let's see. And you know what? Part of, and you know what I'm going to try to do here is do a little angle cut. Yeah, there we go. On that corrugation to relieve some of that uh, cardboard in there. I should have done that on the side. Yeah, see? See how I made that little groove in there? You do this with fabric when you're wanting to do things like that. Here, I'll even do it on this side. If I can, let's get this started. Okay, yeah. Got a very sharp blade to make this work. Oh, come on. Yeah. The glue. But you don't want to cut clear through, otherwise you're, you're screwed. Um, or you're starting over, I guess. Not screwed. But anyway. Uh, see, one, why don't you get it going? And see, that's the thing. When it doesn't have any support, it's hard to. Okay, we're gonna skip. we're gonna skip that. But I think you guys get the idea if you're gonna do that. Okay. So anyway, we're going up like that. Put our, our fork left back in there. And just see how we see how we did. Okay. Yeah. See, and that uh, it's gonna hold it in pretty well. And like I said, it's <coughs> we have this top here goes to about there, so I don't have much, much room, but, um, and then I'll make a box, uh, or a side that goes down, a panel that goes down. Okay, well, again, rolling with this design, so let's, uh, let's, uh, lay in some glue here, and try to finish this part up, I don't use, go in and get my, uh, Another bit of um, glue. That's a lot of excess. Okay. Hold that just a little bit here. You're probably wondering how I'm going to secure it so it don't bounce around in there. Well, I got. I'll show you. I got some. Uh, I got some tricks on on my, up my sleeve of how I did that. about how we're going to do top. Maybe I should commit to, uh, maybe I should commit to, okay. That. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to fix, I'm going to, I'm going to secure that down, but I might, I'm going to leave that because I might need the slide. I might make um, another uh, inner piece that, that has to go in there. touch but anyway you can kind of see that's sort of how we're how we're going to do that 
Now, again, if I had a bigger piece of cardboard, I would have made a fold here and then a fold here and then just plop some sides on and all that. But that's all right. We can, uh, we can work with that. Plus, I got to do some finishing on this. Okay, so is that, well, actually, is that one wide? I should work on that part. Let's see. Yes, actually, that is just wide enough. Let's cut this, start cutting this guy to length here. square. Okay. Now, here's kind of the neat part <clears throat> we're going to do. Alright. So, okay. Let's, let's go with that. Okay, so if that's going to be, so if that's going to be like that, we will, uh, That's roughly going to be like that, and uh, okay. <clears throat> Let's find out where the fold is going to be here. So, um, let's see. And I'm just sort of eyeballing this here. Yeah, that'll hold the cab in. Okay, a little bit. So. I'm going to give it a little bit of slop here. Um, well, actually, actually, I should want it out up to about here. Then they can be stacked in retail. Okay. So, roughly, roughly like that. i got to think ahead here. Eyeball on the square. Well, that's alright, I can flip this over. I'll do it love the way I should do it, so let's, let's give myself oh eyeball at about an eighth of an inch. Eighth of an inch to cut that out. So let's uh, just cut that strip. Okay, this is going to make the fold a lot easier than, uh, than the way I did it. And this is, uh, I just decided this is going to be the underside, so. Through the corrugate, corrugated, and this facing, so we can uh, rip. Yeah, there he is. See what I'm doing here? So I can rip some of this out. So it's less to bunch up in there. I mean, you're not going to see this. This will be the underside anyway, and then there will be a glue line. like that. I think, I think you guys are figuring that out. But, okay. Now, okay, so, here's what we got. We got that. Okay, now that doesn't look very pretty. So, what's going to happen here now, and see, that's, that's the part that's going to go down like that, 
And I might have to reinforce that. I don't know. We'll find it. We'll figure it out. What I'm going to do up in here is we're going to go right about here. I think is a good one. Yeah, that's right. Right before the cab of the forklift. So, <clears throat> what I'm going to do here is it's a mark here, but actually, that's where the end of the cab is. So, that's, a, that's actually right here. Okay, so that's in there. What I think I want to do is make a. Let's actually, get this, let's actually make this kind of like, like it looks like I uh, tried. Is I'll make a 45 degree angle from here back to here, just as a uh, more of a stylistic thing. Well, we're not going to go all the way up there. Um, do we want that much? No. Beauty of pencil braces. Okay, so that's what I want, but I do want to leave. Okay, I know what I do, because I do want to leave. Let's see. I want to leave a little bit of a reveal down here. Let's call it about. Let's call it about an about an inch. Maybe a, maybe a little less. Then we can put some words or something up there. Let's just go realistically. I'm gonna go to there and then here. Leave, I don't know, the easiest part is leave the width with the bat. Something like that. And get rid of, <clears throat> we're going to get rid of that portion right there. So, cut that. And better use a straight edge here. I think you guys kind of see where we're going with this, maybe. But just to give a little stylistic detail. So when I put some sort of words or printing on, we can put like Tonka here and like age three plus or whatever. Um, something out of that in nature. Because see, then you're gonna want to, you're gonna see the palettes stacking up there. Um, yeah, I think, I think I like that. I think I kind of like that. It showcases the product. Okay. Well, next thing I think we'll do, I really want to make this hinge, but um, I can't because of the way I did it. So, uh, might wait till we do the sides. Okay. So the sides are going to be pretty simple here. I got some um, extra cardboard here. Peace. Be a good spot, please. Okay. So, piece here. Okay. And actually, this is where, actually, this already has a fold. We do a, put that fold, then that's like a finished edge there, which, again, when I make the other boxes, that's usually what I do. So, uh, and I'll have, to, I'll have to cut that out, but that'll also help interlock that. And press against the rear wheel. Okay? See, that's why I'm, I gotta think this stuff through while I'm doing it here. So that's right about there. And that, that, and that there. Oh my god, that just works just right. That'll lock it in right there. I lucked out. <laughs> lucked out with that. One. So, okay. Now, first things first. We're gonna leave, leave all that. I'll leave that like as is. Um, but we need to. Now let's let's trim this bottom out. Up here. 
get this trimmed out. So that's going to <coughs> sit flush like that. And I'll have to trim that a little bit there. Let's hold this here. Put that there. And put the pencil again. Okay, we're working on the uh, top portion of this. We made that cut there. So that'll fit in like this for one of the sides. We're going to do that for the other side. And I'm transferring a measurement here for the top, over here. Just a little while. Okay, we're gonna put this together here, and I okay. and I'll have to. It's running a little while. We'll uh, we'll get this glued in here, and uh, put another glue stick in. So it, let's. Uh, a little bit of glue on there. Put some glue there. Run it all the way along this edge here. And then we can sort of put that together like this. We can always trim the edges later. And I'll glue the seam back here. Just a little bit wet. Okay. You like that? Now, show you inside here. Let's shoot a little blob in there. A little bit right there. In. He's gonna sit right back. Okay, so make sure our palette fit how we want them. Right there. Okay. So hold that right there. That on the side. There, that's gonna. You know what? We're gonna spread that out. There we go. And hold that till it dries. That's gonna hold that up. This is a high temp gun, so it uh, takes a little bit longer for it to set. But once it does, then it's, it's done. And the bottom's set. This top, I just need to hold this. Good. And uh, let's see. Oh, uh, all right. 
we're going to do is glue and glue right along there. Hold that. Okay. Hold that down. And with that. Side there. See, I run it in a little while, so then I can just take this. Again, what I should have done is uh, put the inset that just a touch. But anyway, okay. Okay, we got one side of that. Let's see how. Again, I keep touching, testing. Okay, I like that. So, all right. You see, this kind of keeps the back end of that, that guy going. I'm gonna still have to glue that down, but I'm gonna wait till the end there. Okay. And let's see. Let's do this side is done exactly the same as the other side. And I'll have to redo this top of this box a little, a little bit, of course. I need to. That's right. I need to make my bend. Should have made the sides and made my bend. Which we might remake this top because I got a different die. I actually got a different idea that I just came up with. Okay. Uh, that I just came up with <laughs> when I was putting this together. I just thought of it. Um, so let's see. Let's put that there. Mark that side. And I don't have this one. I don't think I have a piece bent. Looking at my other cardboard I have. I don't think I have. Yeah, I do. I do this one. Actually, maybe I got a piece that's bent. I think I can use the bend. Yeah, okay. There we go. This one's in good shape and it's bent. I just need to. Um... Okay. see how, how I'm going to fold this over. Okay, so, again, with these pallets, I'm going to put them something like that. Um, like that, or like that, I can't, can't really decide. So, those... Maybe that, I uh, put that right on the edge. I think I'll mark here. Yeah, I think so. I think that's exactly what I'll do. And then I can, well actually I'll cut this a little long, because maybe I'll have those, yeah. Okay, let's see, I'm at about there, the top of the pallets. Run right along here. So that's going to be a fold. And then, okay, I think, now, I got to think this through so I don't screw this up and try to talk talk through my ideas. Okay, this is the front. Um, <laughs> I'm going to look at that again. Okay, okay so I want that to kick out just a little bit down here. Okay. Yeah. So now well, let's start by let's start by making this flush. I'll have to re flush with that. Okay, I'm gonna redo my marks because I just now cut them. Yeah, now they're too low. So alright. We're going to mark, what I'm going to do here, mark here, it's the edge of the pallet there, okay, that's how the pallets are there, okay, and the edge here. I want to go up about that much, and 
over okay, a little bit. So lift of those two inches. Now I'm just gonna eyeball it. Two inches to there. It's going to it's going to, you know, ultimately in the end work. And I need to uh, I made this a, on the other side, I made this a little bit of a triangular piece here. Because again, when I glue that down, this will allow that to open up. That. And uh, yeah, I kind of like I don't like how that's shaping up. Okay, so this is going to. Oh, that's right. I gotta. I gotta make those cuts there. Okay. So we need to at least. And let's see. I'll cut this a teensy bit shorter. Okay. We're getting close to being done with the box part. All right. Just waiting for some other glue to dry here. In places, fully dry. Okay. Now. Okay, now we can uh, cut the back part off here like we did the other side. There we go. That, uh, that does that. Okay, let's uh, plop it in here again. Okay, that. So I'm going to hold that. This that, which I need to glue that down, which I'm going to do that here in a second, and then I don't put it. and that goes out to something, something along the lines of uh, that, you can see my scribble here, but I got to get, I got to get a bigger piece of, of hardboard, and it's not even going to, it's not even going to work here, well, that, might, that one might work. So, yeah, that, uh, that'll, um, that won't work. Yeah, that'll work there. Okay. So we can do that, like that. And then, yeah, we're going to have to bend down here. Score that. Actually, that's not another way. That's there we go. This is yeah. There we go. That's more what we need. Let's do that. 
First things first, I'm going to get the, uh, that's almost the right way. Okay, so, first things first, going to where we're going to bend it. So it's going to be right along the crease there. Do the same thing here. Just gonna cut that out. So you can bend it easy. to the motor, motor compartment, engine motor, engine compartment here. And then, now look at it, I think I want it to come all clear over here. We'll cut to here, and then, and we'll go something like this. But, I want to come up, up and over, like this. Straight, straight in like this, and then let's uh, we'll make it straight. We'll make not make these too complicated, and then a little bit of an angle there down here, and like, and something like that, just to cover the ends. End. here and <coughs> just a slight angle here and a straight cut here trying to meet the parallel with the others. Okay. Well, you know what? That's actually perfect. Actually, that's that's actually more what I wanted anyway. Okay, I forgot to cut this long, and this should have been over here, but that's okay. I like I like that. That's going to terminate just perfectly, just perfectly. All right. Well, we can uh, we can do some gluing. Um, let's take the fork with the uh, glue on that. Now we can do some gluing. Then we're going to get to the painting portion of it. Because we're going to, I want the interior to be white. Well, actually, I need to do that right now. So, 
We'll come back to this when I get this, this, all this painted. Well, voila, paint's done. And let me just quickly go over what I did. Um, obviously, as you say, we taped it up. We painted the box uh, brown, uh, a nice flat brown. And uh, this is taped uh, off because I painted the inside of the box white. I wanted a contrast and um, that's how I got it. So let's just take this tape off here and you'll see what I mean. And uh, just take it off. there we go. There you go. You can see a little bit of it. Let me get uh, this masking tape off and just pull it off carefully here. There we go. All righty. Box goes like that. All we got to do is get our top on here. I'll we'll trim that, but we'll uh, glue it on first, and then that's how that's going to go. Well, let's see. Um, well, let's glue it in first, and then we'll uh, plop the uh, forklift in there. But, you know, okay. Let's see. We got. Make sure my uh, glue gun's up to temperature. Not yet. So anyway, let's see. <laughs> well, let's put the forklift in to see how, how she looks before we uh, commit to gluing the top on here. And these little pallets, it doesn't really matter how they go in there. They're going to set in there like so. That's going to go down. We'll glue a little flap or something uh, uh, there that'll hold that down, maybe a little flap there. Or maybe I'll just pull a string or something to tie that in. Um, <clears throat> and we'll see how this goes. Yeah, I kind of like that. Uh, it's gonna look something like it's gonna look something like that, and uh, and then we can do the graphics afterwards. Okay. first that initially glued here <coughs> and hold that the whole thing on the back glued. It's mostly these sides and the and uh, the and towards the front here. like that okay we're pretty much done <clears throat> with this book section here and of course still got some graphics to put on but this video is long enough I just want to show you how I got the uh, pretty much the basic box um, done um, as far as you're probably wondering uh, how to um, you know I'm gonna secure the, the forklift in there of course I'm doing this backwards uh, that's actually kind of simple. Uh, I'm going to take some, uh, and that, that might be for a different video. Well, actually, I know it will be for a different video. But for the time being here, this is exactly how it's going to look, something like this. There's little pallets here. <clears throat> that's going to get sandwiched down. I'm going to take, like, some poster board, and I'm going to make some hooks. 
that will go behind the wheels here, or at least the front wheel here, uh, that will kind of just be an L bracket that will hold it from going up and down a little bit, and then you can just kind of tear them away. That's also how we're going to hold that down, and probably the probably same thing with that little pallet there. And that might be all I do. Now, as far as graphics go, I'm going to put something along here, probably put um, <clears throat> you know, Tonka or Tonka forklift and then the, the part number like they use, and probably a, the Triangle Tonk, Tonka logo here. And then same with the Triangle Tonka logo up on top. And then maybe some custom here. But that's some artwork, stuff I'll gin up in kind of a photo editing product uh, project and uh, print it off and probably just, just glue it on with like some, um, you know, El Elmer's glue, school glue kind of thing. You know, uh, I I've yet to really figure out the best way to do graphics, pr print graphics on the onto these yet. I, I don't have a lot of those kind of tools, but anyway, uh, I don't know. Looks pretty good. I, the mo main purpose of this video is to show you kind of how in almost real time, I mean there was some editing here in this video, is uh, how I kind of come up with the box and, and uh, how to put it, how I put it together. Maybe gives you guys out there that kind of do the same thing another idea. And if you come up with some ideas, put them in the uh, comments below. I'd love to hear how you um, how you tackle this kind of project. I did it a lot different than um, than you know previous boxes before. Like this is of course it's glued down, but this was all one piece, and I just figured out the folds and everything. Same did the same thing with uh, the Tonka dump truck box. It was all one piece and one fold. I decided well. I try making it in different, uh, you know, gluing the pieces together, see if I come up with a, you know, maybe a better look or a better design. And I like it. I like it. I painted it, everything. Looks nice. You know, it's not original. It's for, it's a Christmas present. And the person I'm giving it to is going to love it. So, uh, like the Facebook page, check out Instagram. Of course, subscribe and ring that notification bell here on YouTube. You don't want to miss my videos. Um, I try to come out with, uh, videos at least twice a month, but uh, I don't always hit that, but uh, any kind of view and support is <clears throat> is appreciated. You know, I've got merch down below, some stickers, t-shirts, and other things, and more stuff that I have coming. So uh, until next time, thanks for watching.